You're a perfect celeb, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Welcome to the Famous Day Quiz with your host, Psycho Girl. Let's get into it. Let's take the test. What's a guy's most important feature? He has a hilarious sense of humor. <laughs> Definitely important. He likes to shop. No. He's an awesome kisser. You can trust him. Definitely. He's famous. <laughs> yeah. No. I think that he has a hilarious sense of humor. If you can't make me laugh, then you cannot keep my attention. You impress guys by just being yourself. Pairing a dreamy dress with heels. No. Showing him you're one of the boys. That usually does happen. That just happens naturally, but I don't try to do that. Cooking a delicious meal, that is the way to my heart. Flashing your pearly whites, these, like this. I would say just being myself. Click. Which movie is the most romantic? Avatar, Shrek, ooh, I love Shrek. Lord of the Rings, Pirates of the Caribbean, and Tangled. I'm gonna go with Shrek. I love when the ogres fall in love. What's your bad habit? Ooh, I'm not a gossip queen. Too much shopping, no. Always showing up late, um, that may have been a problem for me before. <laughs> Biting your nails, yeah, a little bit. Being messy, I'm gonna say lateness is my worst habit of all of those. What's your favorite guy style? Casual, cash, I like when the guy doesn't care too much. Emo, mm, if he doesn't try to be, then it's cool. Trendy, I don't mind a guy who takes care of himself. Not too much though, nerdy's always cute. Urban classy. I'm gonna go casual, yeah. You really hate it when a guy wears mismatched socks. Never been a big pet peeve of mine. Constantly checks his phone for new text messages. That is annoying when anyone does that all the time, especially when you're trying to talk to them. Burps all the time. Mm, can't say I couldn't probably be a competitor in that field, so. If there was a burping contest, I probably would be the winner, so. <laughs> Shows up late for a date. That is pretty bad, unless you have a really good legitimate reason, but can't say I'm miss punctual. It's gotten better. Um, is more stylish than you. That's usually a problem, um, but I'm going to go with the phone. What do you like most about yourself? I like my mouth, my cheekbones, nose, hair, eyes. Ooh. I'm going to say, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think about, I, I like my cheekbones the best of all those things. A guy can win your heart with a 100 red roses. That would be really nice. A heart-shaped chocolate cake. Well, if he made it himself, then yes. Your favorite perfume. Yes, I love perfume. A diamond ring. Not unless we're getting married. A poem he wrote for you himself. That would be, it would either be a poem or perfume. Something from the heart is always best. Per if you knew my favorite perfume, that would mean you really knew me and that you paid attention. If you baked me a cake, I might fall in love with you, but if you wrote me a poem and it was good, it would have to be good. <laughs> if you cook for me, that's the way to my heart. What's your dream? Making the best soup ever known. I do love soup and I do cook a lot of soup. That's a weird option. Being able to fly, I would love to fly. Being followed by the paparazzi. I don't know how fun that sounds, actually. Winning a dance contest, for sure, and I have won some dance contests, so I've already achieved that dream many times. <laughs> Driving really fast on a motorcycle. No, I've been on a motorcycle and it's cool, but it's not like my lifelong dream. I would say being able to fly. Your ideal first date involves riding a roller coaster, a tightly and tightly squeezing his hand. I do love roller coasters, but I think he'd be squeezing my hand. <laughs> I love roller coasters, scary movies. I'm always the one that's like, let's go. Let's see, the park at night, picnicking under the stars. 
That's cool, but it's a little, that might be a little too much for a first date. A karaoke bar crooning into the mic together. As much as that might be fun, I don't really love karaoke because since people know I sing, they expect me to get up and be like amazing. And I don't want to get up and sing and, and like have to impress people. I want to just, part of the fun of karaoke is being bad. A walk on the beach with an ice cream cone. That sounds great because I love the beach and I love ice cream. The movie, sharing a supersized popcorn. I'm going to say a walk on the beach with an ice cream cone. <laughs> Ooh. Your famous date is Taylor Lautner. <laughs> Dangerously good looking. You need your daily dose of this wild guy. He's the perfect match for a girl who's not afraid of anything. Well, they got me right. I'm not a huge Taylor Lautner fan. I mean, he's really cute. I wonder who the other choices were. Oh well, I had a lot of fun playing that game. I think it was pretty accurate. If I was going to date someone, they would be dangerously good looking and a wild child. <laughs> Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like Girls Go Games and you want me to play more, Girls Go Games that you like. <laughs> All right, I had so much fun playing this. This was super cute. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Celebrity dating games, yeah. I'm dangerous to the core. Just like what I did.